yeah we're close we're close we're close we're close again <laughs> we're close uh according to eddie her in the past few days they've received several site offers and they've been presented to you, both fighters and they should make the decision shortly check him out activity from tyson and the team because they know we're very close you know tomorrow both guys will be presented with the options for the fight in the summer you know you, you heard from anthony joshua um on social media as well and you know he doesn't talk that much aj about fights coming up and he talks when things are close and, and you can feel the excitement building between both fighters right now um we're in a great place we've got several offers on the table as i said they'll be presented to the fighters tomorrow and i'm quietly confident you know and again it's nice to see tyson fury post with a little bit of enthusiasm because i guess he feels we're close now as well. some big news uh three or four big offers on the table interest from saudi arabia my gypsy brothers in qatar uzbekistan russia america england there's some big big offers on the table i'm going to go for them on sunday and uh, hopefully we get this big fight on and let me smash this big dosser a big useless dosser let me say because when i get him i'm going to give him that to be honest with you i kind of got sick and tired of making john fury cries again and i don't even swear. fury is crying again he's, he's just got a bit repetitive you know, it's, it's like everybody in the world wants the fight to happen. Everyone's exercising patience. But um, the Fury, he's been Tyson Fury, his dad, and possibly the Deontay Wilder fans who were clinging on to the hope that Wilder was the one um, causing all the delays. These guys are probably sick to death, probably throwing up in their mouths with the news we've received over the past couple of days. How on earth you can consider yourself a boxing fan and not want such a fight to take place is beyond me. It, it's just, it makes absolutely no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. Regardless of who's involved in the fight, if you've got a pony in a show or whatever, this fight is good for boxing in general. It's good for the heavyweight division, it's good for all other divisions. So, yeah, it's all. It, the selfishness and the, the self-centeredness is just uncalled for and very very destructive it seems this lot just want um wilder to have back his belt and he can go about fighting the spilkers and the the, the poor position as he was facing prior to tyson fury they, they probably wouldn't mind seeing wilder ortiz five at this point they just they just don't want any any form of um adversity they don't want no smoke to put in much more simpler terms they just want wilder to have his belt and him to go do his thing in one corner and they can you know manufacture news and manufacture quote-unquote facts and just you know crack on that way just living their own little fantasy island but nah Fury talking about he wants to fight two other random guys and AJ is not important and this and that. It's just, all, all of those strange talks which is like, are you kidding me? Like what 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 more what what's more important than having the undisputed title fight? Well, come this close for you to talk about you wanna go fight who 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 was he gonna go fight? What Ajit Cabello? Imagine that. Imagine if he walked away from the AJ fight to go fight some random top 15 ranked opponent. That would have been such an anti climax. That would have been disgusting. But yeah, good news. Now it looks like the fight's really, really going to take place. So we should be. <laughs> it feels like for the past two to three months, we'll be talking about we should be expecting an announcement soon. I was literally about to say we should be expecting an announcement in the next um, week or two. I think I've probably said that in about five videos. So, yeah, let's make this sixth video. Yeah, we should be expecting an announcement in the next, mm, say, in about a week or so. <laughs> so, yeah, keep your eyes peeled, ears wide open. And, yeah, if you cries again, just ignore the guy. To be fair, deep down, I knew um, he didn't have much of a say in the matter. He was just, you know, it just wasn't promising seeing him having been so adverse to to the fight taking place he wasn't there yeah, that wasn't nice to see but deep down as i said numerous times he, he, it probably wasn't down to him it's he he has probably has zero say in this matter it's his handless decision i reckon you know you, you got your kinnans your bob harams your your frank warren to a lesser extent but yeah i don't think 
because Tyson's or, or John for that matters um, <laughs> it wasn't John Fury's decision to say okay yeah yeah let's have the fight all of that um all of them interviews all the the, the loud talk you don't want just, you know, it don't blame hot him. air basically just just um throwing the toys at the pram it wasn't really gonna affect much but yeah now we're here they've got um several offers on the table to it's looking like it's gonna be in saudi arabia they're still um they're still discussing this wembley stuff that just sounds like a dream to me it's yeah the fight's not taking place in wembley it's definitely gonna be in the middle east and Saudi's looking like the front runners at this point. You know one thing that's super strange. Um, I'm, st <laughs> I'm still not over how Titan Fury's acted towards. Even though I'm saying let's move on, I'm still not over his behavior towards the the delays and and the rest of it. If AJ had acted that way, oh my God, the world would have ended. They would have been saying, yeah, you see, he's scared. He he doesn't have the heart. He doesn't have this and that, but. Tyson's literally been acting like a scared child for the past couple of months making random posts on social media like three more sleeps before the contract um, agreement expires like why are you so excited you sound you sound like you're praying for it like oh like a, like a child waiting for Christmas like oh three more sleeps like come on come on whose side are you on here do you want the fight to take place or or not all of that was just strange stuff in my opinion but yeah yeah again he gets away with it he's still the you know the big bad gypsy king he's still this and that yeah aj is still the mentally weak one aj is still the scared one right ridiculous as usually your thoughts in the comment section below like the video subscribe if you're new click the notification bell so you know exactly what's going on i'm out